If you were to take the current global status, take everything from the effects of the current pandemic and completely nullify them, we're entering into what is the time of year every year that is incredibly revealing for Call of Duty. The perhaps two highest points for the franchise in terms of peak interest are when a game launches and when the next game is officially revealed. For launches, of course, that's usually October or November, but predominantly for reveals and teases of the like for the next Call of Duty title, that usually comes in late April to mid to late May. Now, while there are no official signs of a guaranteed reveal timetable from Activision, and hell, we don't even officially know what studio or studios are working on it or at the helm officially, we do have a quite a bit of information to discuss, though, as we enter into that magic window of reveals. We're getting our first information from insiders with high credibility regarding the next launch and things that can help paint the picture of what we can expect. So today, I want to talk to you about the surfacing information regarding the now-rumored project of Call of Duty Vietnam, the links, if any, to the Black Ops universe, and what we may be seeing very, very soon. That said, if any of this interests you, do me a favor, drop a like down below, let me know your thoughts below in the comments as well, and do be sure to hit that subscribe button as we approach a time likely coming up with a ton of info regarding the next release. So that said, make sure you're here for all of it, but let's jump into it. So just a recap to fill you all in to where we are as of now. The only real substantial and concrete evidence that we have of what 2020's title could be regarding actually came before Modern Warfare was even officially revealed, with a report about 2020's internal shifts coming on May 18th of 2019, and the official reveal for Modern Warfare taking place on May 30th. So kind of wild to consider for sure that we knew more about 2020's title than we did about the year upcoming at that point last year. But with this report from Jason Schreier, previously of Kotaku, it was stated that at that time, the development of what was assumed to be a Sledgehammer or Raven project was an air quote mess, and that as a result, Treyarch was pulled in during their finalization of Black Ops 4's development for post-launch content to work on and steer the entirety of the project at hand now for 2020. Now, since that report, there hasn't been any definitive confirmation from any parties involved, including the studios themselves or from Activision, and we even didn't get a confirmation from Activision during their quarterly earnings call, which we see every year happen, though many industry insiders have heard that this is actually what did happen, where Treyarch was brought in to head up 2020's title and relieve Sledgehammer and Raven of those duties. The project contents and what was worked on up until that report, though, the current status, whether it was either adjusted to what we may see in the future or scrapped entirely, is still unknown. But that brings us to today, where we're currently sitting with a bit more information on what we may be seeing coming, including what may very well be the next title of Call of Duty. Naturally, it was rumored to be a Black Ops game, given that each Treyarch project for the last 10 years has been associated with the brand, Black Ops 1 through 4, but whether the game was going to continue that legacy was something that was rumored and maybe considered to, of course, naturally just be a Black Ops 5, but there were also mixed reports saying that it would be, in similar fashion to Modern Warfare, a soft reboot this year and starting over things in the Black Ops universe once again. But that was all basically just he said, she said rumors. According to insiders, though, the new rumor is that the game is currently being looked at to focus focus on the Cold War at large and could touch on the Vietnam War in particular, as well as with the internal development name being called Call of Duty Vietnam. The recent information came to light from Leaker of the Gaming Revolution, who we've talked about here on the channel beforehand, and more in-depth follow-up information was obtained from Jason Schreier, once again revisiting the topic at hand for 2020's development. Now, he was asked on Twitter a ton of different things regarding what we could end up seeing, so let's just talk about that. Firstly, he was asked, do you think that it's still going to be a part of the Black Ops series then? To which his response was, I'm not a COD person, so I don't know anything about the lore shenanigans or what it really means to be a Black Ops game, but one title I've heard thrown around a couple of times is just COD Vietnam. As far as I know, it's part of the Black Ops series, though. Not sure. He also was asked, would you happen to know any information about this year's Call of Duty title? It's leaked to be a Black Ops reboot, but I'm just curious as to what you've heard. And he said, I don't think it's a reboot. He as well then was asked, what do you think then, Vietnam title? He said, yeah, Cold War Vietnam, I believe. So what we can gather from an industry insider who, from my own experience of seeing what he's broken, is perhaps the most correct game and journalist when it comes to inside stories like this, is we actually have a decent picture to paint here with this. Vietnam, the Cold War at large, not necessarily a reboot, but perhaps loosely related to the Black Ops storyline and its lineage and all things like that. So it provides a decent framework for what we can expect with this upcoming year. Additionally, compounding on that fact that it may not be a dedicated reboot or potentially be loosely based upon what's in play is perhaps what was mentioned by James C. Burns, the actor who previously played Frank Woods in Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. He recently held a live stream talking about what he knew 
knew and didn't know about the upcoming project, to which he confirmed that at that point, just a few weeks ago that this took place, that he had no contact or involvement with anyone at Treyarch or Activision regarding this upcoming title in 2020, thus confirming that Frank Woods may not be reprising his role or at the very least, his actor would not be. But also, following the idea now that it could be loosely based upon it, it could seem like a plausible idea not to expect his return. But to me, a Vietnam or Cold War era game does actually make a lot of sense. Sledgehammer had a third person Vietnam game in development before they got pulled to work on and support Modern Warfare 3 way back in the day. So this has been something they've had in their pocket for quite some time. And it's been publicly stated that the studio had high interest in revisiting that project, maybe not in the third person aspect, but at least the era. They loved that era and wanted to create something out of it. So it easily could have been one of those things that maybe say from preliminary planning, we had actually a wide range of offerings from all the Call of Duty developers with Sledgehammer potentially working on this Vietnam title. Perhaps it would have been one of those things where Infinity Ward would handle the modern setting with the now rebooted Modern Warfare and what is presumably going to be some Modern Warfare sequels in the future. Treyarch could have had that futuristic hold with the Black Ops narrative after making the jump in Black Ops 3 to the future, pun somewhat intended, and then Sledgehammer could be working on what was previously World War II, and then other past era games like a Vietnam game, or perhaps in the future, if all things went according to plan, maybe something in another different conflict in the past, like maybe the Gulf War of some sort. And realistically, I think that would be something really cool and also really plausible. Activision likes to have this structure, and they make these calls for these coming games three years out, or what was previously three years out with a three-year development cycle. So for players to have a clearly defined and enjoyable path for both what to expect and what they know the gameplay will be like, and also for developers to have that clearly laid out plan, it'd be nice. Fan favorites guaranteed within the Modern Warfare and Black Ops narratives, and then hopeful new introductions with Sledgehammer on the third years of new IPs with different past installments, maybe setting up their own universe as well. But hopeful planning aside, it seems like we'll never know if that was actually the case, if all signs on the back end look to work out how they do now. But that could ultimately explain why Treyarch is inheriting a Vietnam title. Sledgehammer very well could have been working on that one and was then forced to take over and air quote reboot or soft connect that to the Black Ops universe. So I guess we won't know for sure, but to me that seems like a plausible storyline and what could have happened here behind the scenes. Now as for gameplay, I think that's probably something that comes to mind then because if it's in the past, it probably has some sort of limitations, does it not? I mean, we saw that World War II, you couldn't really do anything crazy. You had to sort of be rooted in that realism because of one, the way that it was marketed and two, because there was so much known about that time frame. There was so much that went into the building of this and it's an era of reverence. Vietnam and the Cold War is kind of the same way, where I feel like people would feel a little bit more limited to this, but also where it kind of transitions then out of a more limited variation of play is that there was so much that could have gone into this kind of stuff. There were so many weapons used around that time frame, and even the original Black Ops is such a great example here for this. We had a ton of weapons, and if I'm not mistaken, I think there's actually still to this day the most weapons in any Call of Duty game may have been some Black Ops. That or one of the earlier Modern Warfare titles. I can't remember off the top of my head, but there was a ton that you could choose from in terms of gunplay. Customization, you still seriously at that point had the most customization that we had ever seen. You had the in-game COD points that you could buy camos with, you could buy player uniforms and all things like that. And there was truly at that point, even 2000, an absurd amount of things that you could grind and unlock. So I definitely think that while it may not be a huge hit for everybody that likes futuristic or modern games, it definitely could be a lot worse, and I think that it could still be handled relatively well, if not really well. Now, the final thing I want to talk about in this video comes back to where we started this. The world's kind of in this really weird state right now. We've seen almost every major market push everything back in terms of releases, but what about video games? What about what we see with this next title? Is it something that is going to still be on par for fall of 2020, or will it be pushed back? Maybe Modern Warfare 2's illustrious and rumored multiplayer is released in place as a sort of time delay here for that, but doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. Somebody once again asked Jason Schreier over on Twitter, you mentioned the fact that Call of Duty has released annually since 2005. With Treyarch having a shortened development cycle because of the Sledgehammer Raven issues, do you think it's possible we don't see a new game released this year? To which he replied, as of right now, it's still planned for fall, but nobody knows what's going to happen in the coming months. So as it stands, it's still tentatively scheduled for what we have on offer every single year in the fall. But maybe it does change. Maybe things, if things don't get better for the global markets, 
for the health of the entire world. Maybe it does get delayed, but for the time being, you can still expect it to be your normal October or normal November whenever it comes to releasing a COD. But that said, that's we're going to wrap it up. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what we have on deck here for 2020, and we may very well be seeing a lot more coming in the very near future. So let me get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited by the news that it may be a Vietnam War and Cold War era game, or maybe not so much? Anything in particular you guys want to discuss, feel free to. But that's it. That's where we're going to wrap it up. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. We're getting all things Modern Warfare, updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. We got you covered here on the channel. So if any of that interests you, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. If you guys also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, there's the best places to get connected with us on YouTube. Practice on both those. So you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be. Link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.